Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show and uh, we're moving over to Italy for uh, this next wine. Um, so I bought this wine just because I, I, I knew of the name, at least of the, of the appellation, not necessarily the name of the producer. Um, and I remember doing the research when I was doing the Italy, you know, research on Italy uh, for Psalm School that uh, uh, this is one of those wines that's kind of not highly thought of. Anyway, so let's just get right uh, right down into this. This is the Est 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 di Monte di Monte Fiascone. Okay, Est 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 di Monte Fiascone. All right, and that is the appellation, um, also known just as Est Est Est. And uh, this is a obviously a white wine uh, from Italy. Uh, the producer is. Uh, Falesco, not, 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 not Fusco, Falesco, it's 2009, um, let's do a little rinse, bought it at Specs for $8.46, doing, and, um, there we go, this wine is, um, let's see, made, uh, well, I don't know about this particular wine, but the wines from this area are you are made with Trebbiano and Malvasia uh, Bianca. Um, this particular one, I'm not sure if it's exactly that. Um, see if I can get information at the uh, website of the producer. But um, the the story goes that um, uh, there well, there's a couple different stories. But basically, the story goes that there was a. Uh, um, I'll just read the whole thing. Uh, they spent 12th century to tale to a German bishop traveling to the Vatican for a meeting with the Pope. Um, the bishop sent somebody ahead uh, to to survey the villages along the route for the best wines. And at the uh, Monte Fiascone Inn, um, the the guy was so impressed with the wine that he wrote S S S, you know, S with one exclamation point, then S with two, and the S with three exclamation points, at least that's what it says here, uh, on the door, so that the bishop would not fail to stop by, and est is Latin for it is, okay? Um, anyway, uh, so in other words, we want to make sure the bishop stopped because the wine was really good here, okay? So, with that said, um, in the Wikipedia article about, the, about this, it mentions that this particular wine is not highly thought of. All right, um, does not use heavily planted traditional Italian grape varieties as uh, high quality wines. La, 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 la. 60, all right, here we go. 60% Trebbiano, 30% Malvasia, and 10% Roschetto. And it's considered the generic Umbrian cheap wine known around the world. All right, so let's see how it is this time. Well, not this time. See, see if this actually is anything, anything decent. Okay, well, I'm actually getting something on the nose. My first thought was apricot. But now... I'm thinking more like... Very ripe, uh, kind of date-like, almost like prune, prune plum, which I'm not used to getting that off of a white wine. I might be going a little off the deep end on that, but almost raisiny, interesting, 
But I'm going to kind of go with the, with the plum, the prune type of thing. And a little bit of like uh, potpourri flower shop. Not flower shop, but like potpourri world market pier one type of stuff. A little raisiny. Let's see how it tastes. Well, it's got a little bit of acid, not very high, not, not highly acidic. Um, that flavor profile kind of stays the same. It's, you've got the, um, you kind of have that floral potpourri and, and prune plumish uh, taste going on. There's really something else here. Again, it's the bouquet and, and the palette that a fruit that I'm I'm just really not remembering, but I, I, I it's a familiar, somewhat familiar taste. Um, it's okay. Uh, it's it's not spectacular. I, I'm going to give it an 82, uh, same as the Gru, uh, the Gruner. Um, but there, I can at least taste some stuff off of this. It's it's not. It's not horrible. I don't think it's uh, the generic Umbrian cheap white wine. Um, I don't think it's. I don't think it deserves that necessarily. But you know, it's it's there. Let's see. What does it say? Uh, so I see if there's anything else in here. No. Nope. Anyway, um, interesting uh, for under nine dollars. It's something that you can try. It's it's a somewhat famous. Famous uh, wine, or at least region, it has a story to it. Um, chill it is probably a little bit better. I don't know. I think I'll give it an 83. I give it a one notch, a little notch up from the Gruner. 83 is my final score on this. Yeah, not so bad. Still no viewers. That's okay. Um, so yeah, it's um, pretty decent. It's okay. Eighty-three. Nothing to nothing to really write home about. But if you see it, you want to try it out. Maybe you like it. Cool. All right. Well, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, as always, uh, stop by the website. Leave some comments. Have you had this wine before? Um, do you think it's better than I than I than I'm saying it is, or you think it's just plunk? And you're like, dude, even an eighty-three is generous. Um, uh, let me know. Throw throw some comments down. Get off off your butt on the TiVo couch or watching watching on your TiVo. Um, I know you can watch on Roku. Someone asked me about that. I don't know how you find it on Roku, but I know it's there because I've seen the metrics saying that there's at least a few views on Roku. Um, but you definitely do that. And then um, since I'm also sending all these, all especially the, these the newer videos now are going to YouTube. I just discovered that, you know, through my Xbox, I can kind of check this stuff out on YouTube. Um, and then Daily Motion, you can find on Daily Motion, but there's no, none of the new ones are in Daily Motion, unfortunately, is because of how that distribution model, who I use for that, and they just changed some stuff. So I have to go check them out and see if I can start using them again because they gave me a 500 megabyte limit on uploads. And these are all over 500 megabytes. So also, I'm, I'm using a new setting on the camera. I'm using the 60 frame per second thing. I use it the last one, this one. Hopefully, that will make a little bit better improvement. I've, I've heard, I've read that the uh, it improves the quality of the video. All right, that's going to do it. Uh, stop by the website, leave some comments, friend me up, hit the donate button, and uh, that's going to do it.